Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today is another little video on the uh, task manager. We have a little series of videos explaining all the tabs in the task manager. And uh, today uh, we will talk about the users tab in the task manager which is a nice little feature if you're wondering what other users are actually doing on your computer. Um, lots of people are actually using their computer in an environment where there are multiple users. Uh, maybe at home you have uh, the uh, husband, the wife, the children, and they're all uh, using a different user account because everybody wants to uh, keep a little privacy and um, one of the problems that can occur with that is computer can start running slow because one of the users is actually uh, really using some feature that's just a little too um, just a little too intensive in a CPU care for example so uh, here goes you go to the task manager several ways to start it up you can uh, use your mouse go in the bottom left corner of the start screen right click and there you have task manager in the list you can also go into the desktop or if you're already there right click on the bottom taskbar and go into the task manager you can also go into the charms bar the right by either going to the corners with a mouse or if you don't have a mouse um, just swipe from right to left on your screen to get the charms go into search and type task click the task manager down the list and go to the users tab we already have videos on the processes performance app history and startup so you can check those if you want to uh, learn more so the users tab here in this computer this laptop computer I've got two users that are uh, on this computer what's cool about the users tab is that if everybody's user is kind of running in the background because you didn't log out of the user you'll be able to um, compare how much CPU time being used by each user how much memory each user needs and how much disk usage and network so this gives you an idea which user is the one that actually hogs your computer the most the one that does the most things and if you find your computer slow you can maybe understand ho oh, ho oh, that user uses a lot of processing power and a lot of network power so you can tell that user well you gotta slow down on what you're doing or if you don't wanna manage that you can um, just make sure that that user um, actually logs out of his account before uh, you know someone else uses the computer like that you make sure that everything is running cool one of the things you might want is when multiple people are using the computer if you know that other people are not going to use the computer for a quite a while um, actually logging out of all the accounts is a good idea um, if you just want to use a computer for five minutes I am um, it's better of course I understand that you want to stay in the account because it takes less time to load but if you're the only user and you know that for several hours no other peop no other user will be using the the computer then it's okay to just you know tell the users to log off log off or log out of your their accounts so that it um, computer has less things to do so this is a great little way to understand and see what other users are doing on the, your computer uh, if you suspect that one of your users or one you know if you have multiple users in a family and you think someone in your family is kind of using overusing the computer all the information is here and that's pretty cool for that and at the left you have this little arrow that lets you know everything that's running on each user so if for example one of the users is at 70 percent CPU you can actually click the little arrow at the left of their name 
and then look at the list and say, oh, okay, I'm at 70% CPU on that program. And you can tell them, okay, well, you've got a program called uh, X and Y, and uh, it's using 70% CPU. And you can either ask what it is, or you can say, well, can you just stop the program or log out of your account? Um, you have all the information available there. And that's really, really nice because uh, not only can you tell someone that their user account is just, you know, using too much power of the computer, you also can use that account, um, check that account and check what program in the account or what service that's working in that account is actually using all that power. Um, one of the things that you can also do if you are a administrator so if you are the administrator of the computer nobody's there they have a password you just have no access to the account you know the accounts turned on uh, and it's slow because it's using a lot of CPU time you can actually take the little arrow to see what process and just you know right click and end the task of that account and it's gonna work but you need to have full administrative privileges that cannot be done if you are only a uh, a guest or a standard user in Windows so this is the users tab in the task manager hope uh, that information is good for you that it helps you understand more of your computer and uh, if it does and if you need um, you want to have more information on Windows and know when videos are online click the subscribe button you'll be informed when new videos are online uh, maybe you have comments questions or maybe a request of some sort on a video that you'd like us to do on a feature an app let us know and we'll try to put that video online and um, if you have that new Windows 8 computer, you're a little lost, take a look uh, through all of our little um, videos. Um, and slowly but surely, you uh, will get more and more information on how to use Windows 8 to its maximum and understand how it actually works in itself. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.